In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make this very simple button bracelet, but this technique can also be applied to necklaces. Depending on what style you're going for, you can get older buttons at auction houses, car boot fairs, charity shops and obviously from old clothes. You can also ask your friends and relatives to give you them from old clothes as well if they're going to throw them out. For newer buttons I find that eBay is usually the best place to get them. There is quite a wide selection and they are relatively cheap compared to what you'll find in the shops. It's different for making necklaces but when I'm making bracelets I prefer to use something stretchy so it can fit over my hand. And in this tutorial I'll be using 0.8mm stretchy beading thread. Now this is optional but I'm quite clumsy so I usually tie three tight knots on top of each other at the end of my thread just to keep the beads in place. You want to leave at least a couple of inches on the side though so it's easier to tie at the end. Now the only bit you really need to know for this is when you're putting your wire on you put it through your first bead once and then if you want to put a bead on top of that to give a layered effect you put it through that completely. Now this one's only got two holes for example so I'll put it through one hole and then I'll put it through the other and then I'll put it through the bottom bead again so the top bead sits on the bottom. Now you can see this one's got four holes so you want to put it on the diagonal hole to the one you've already put it in if that makes any sense. And as you can see here your smaller bead will sit on top of your bigger bead like that. And then thread the next one on. You don't always have to put one on top of the other you can put individual beads on. So as you can see here, goes through the first hole and then put it through the diagonal one. So it holds it in the middle. I find that putting one bead on top of another bead gives it more stability for some reason, which is why I like to do it. But there shouldn't really be any formulaic way of doing this because that's what makes each bracelet individual. Now it's pretty simple once you get the technique so I'm not going to make you watch me do the entire bracelet because life's too short so I'm going to pause it until I've done the rest of the bracelet. So here's what it looked like when I threaded all the buttons on. It does look very small but please note that I've got tiny wrists so I don't need many beads or buttons, I keep calling them beads, uh, but yeah you can thread buttons with two holes onto buttons with two holes or four holes, the combination really doesn't matter as long as you thread them diagonally when dealing with buttons with four holes. Now it's time to tie each end together and I usually tie these three to five times just to make sure they're secure as you did with the first time. When you've done this you can put the bracelet on and you usually have to faff on for a couple of seconds to get each button where it should be. They're often overcrowded or they're too spaced out and you just need to sort them out. You don't really need to do this every time you put it on, I think that once you've done it the first time it's usually alright. And then cut off the excess ends and when I did this I actually snapped my bracelet because I cut it too close. So don't do that. So I don't actually have a picture of the final product because I snapped it, but here's one I made earlier. I've been wearing this for the past few weeks now. The reason I have so many buttons is because my grandma had an old button tin that she wasn't using anymore, but I know that finding the buttons can often be the hardest part of this. Making the bracelets easy, it's just getting the buttons that's a bit difficult sometimes. But if you can get your hands on some, then it's definitely a good project to work on.